I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the past tense in affirmative sentences in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the past tense in Spanish. In Spanish, to make a sentence in the past tense, you have to conjugate the verb. To conjugate a verb means to change it. Here is an example. The verb hablar changes to hablé, hablaste, habló, hablamos, hablaron. You can easily see how in Spanish we change the verb to express the past tense. So what do we do with verbs in English to form the past tense? The answer is simple. In English, you just add ed to the end of the verb. That's it. That easy. Let's look at some examples. The verb talk. I talked, you talked, he talked, she talked, it talked, we talked, they talked. All subjects use the same form in the past tense. Remember in the present tense, if the subject is he, she, or it, you have to add an S to the end of the verb? Well, as you can see in the past tense, all subjects use the same verb. It really is that simple to form the past tense in affirmative sentences in English. Just add ED to the end of the verb. Nothing more. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify the forms of the verb in the past tense in affirmative sentences. Okay, I may have made the past tense sound a little too easy. There is one big problem, irregular verbs. What I really should have said in part one of this video is that all regular verbs in the past tense are formed with ed. Because if the verb is irregular, the past tense is not formed with ed. Unfortunately, there are many, many, many useful verbs that are used in everyday speech that are irregular. So, if the verb is irregular, how do you form the past tense of the verb? That's a good question. And the truth is, there is no answer. They are all different. You simply have to learn, study, and memorize them. Sorry. Here are some examples of the past tense with irregular verbs. The verb speak is spoke, teach, taught, go, went. The list of irregular verbs is very, very long, but it's your job to learn all of them. You can find a list of commonly used irregular verbs in the following two places. In the back of your Level 2 workbook, or in the welcome section of your online course. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form the past tense in affirmative sentences with irregular verbs. Congratulations! Now you know how to form affirmative sentences in the past tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!